So I did make some a room on the fan wall. So let's see if we can fill that space up. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Arcad Saga. My name is Elkian Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, you guys, I have another unboxing video and I think it's a very, very special one. Uh, well, first of all, let me explain why I did uh, place this order in. Um, well, actually, this Arcad that I'm holding in my hand is the, the first inspiration to put in the order. And that is because of this fairly large leaf. I already knew that I liked the Dejenticas, the fails uh, with uh, cross with the Dejentica, and I actually have the original one over here. It's a very small one, but uh, it will hopefully one day get these very huge sleeves. And I thought, yeah, that would be uh, wonderful to extend my fail wall and have uh, a few of these fails that do get these uh, very uh, large, big leaves. So what I did was I was uh, searching for them, getting a few uh, crushes or getting into them and, and know what to expect and have a look of the blooms, of course. Some do look a bit similar, some do look fairly different. And I just did this over a few weeks. Just when I had some spare time, I like to uh, uh, research uh, orchids or orchid growing, etc. And now uh, I was focused on the uh, Gigenticas. And I came across, a new, for me, a new uh, orchid seller called uh, Orchid Dias, if I am correct. And it says uh, Orchids for Europe on a website. And those, um, this orchid nursery is from uh, Germany. So I'm from the Netherlands, so we are uh, sort of neighbors. <laughs> it's uh, fairly close if you uh, compare it to, uh, well, I do have some orchids from Italy, from Spain, and uh, more from Germany, but I didn't uh, hear of this orchid nursery yet. But because I was searching for these crosses with the Digentica, I, uh, I came across uh, their website, and it turns out that they have quite a few of these beautiful crosses. So it took me about uh, three or four days, I think it was even four days, to, uh, to place that order. I was really diving into it and they have so many, many beautiful fails that I, I had, I, I made uh, my wish list, you can make a wish list over there. And it was way too many. I had a bit of a budget, I'm going to talk about that as well. But uh, it was a little bit too much, and, and I ended up with 15, 20 uh, orchids in, in my basket, and it was a little bit too, too much. So I needed to take the time to really get into them and to make my decision, my final decision. And I did, and we were going to look at them in a second. But this is uh, the first inspiration. The second, the budget, uh, I also have to talk about, because, uh, uh, well, at least half of this is paid by uh, sort of you guys. So yeah, this is my YouTube uh, um, yeah, order, I could say. I, I, uh, well, if you are longer on my channel, you probably know that I have in my video, des video description that I am saving for an, uh, my first orchid, uh, my YouTube orchid. So, um, but it ended up to be a few more, but this order is so special that I thought I'm going to use uh, my YouTube money that I made so far. Uh, it's, it's over one and a half years. It's not that much. But the fact that I could pay uh, several uh, beautiful orchids with it, is, it means the world to me. And that money uh, was gifted by, uh, 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 to me by you guys, by the viewers, by buying me a coffee, super thanks, watching the ads on my video, and all in all, I kept saving it and I was, uh, was ready to make this order. So I want to say thank you, thank you so much. I never ever thought when I started this YouTube channel that I would be able to say that I uh, could buy some, uh, some orchids from YouTube money. And here's the day. So I must admit, because I, fo I found so many beautiful orchids that I uh, had uh, to add in some money of my, from myself. But anyhow, yeah, most of it is from, from YouTube and it's just very special. And because these plants are very special as well, I thought this is the order. I, uh, this is this is beautiful. So from now on, I obviously need to unpack them. I need them to get to grow uh, to grow in a semi hydroponic setup, and then they will be uh, displayed here on a wall. And I think uh, it will always remind me of my first YouTube order. And yeah, like I said, that's special. Absolutely. Thank you so much.
Oh yeah, and before I forget, yes, I know these spots on the leaves. Those were there, but the uh, next leaf, <laughs> the newest, is uh, very beautiful and uh, looks uh, spot-free. I'm not completely sure why it has this, but anyhow, it, it's there. For her, before anybody is starting to comment on that, <laughs> I think she is fine. She's doing fine. So yes, uh, before we start opening up this box, I know this intro is a little bit, a little bit long, but I, there were so many things that I need to say, and I mean, this is so special. It's so special. One last thing, uh, Tobias, that is uh, probably the owner from uh, Archi Archibias, uh, I emailed him and he gave me, uh, gave me uh, permission to use the pictures that go with the plan. So you all will have an idea of what to expect in the near future uh, when these, uh, these orchids start to bloom. So that's a big plus. Thank you so much, Tobias, for that. And also they have a YouTube site, so I will link, will link uh, that as well in my video description. Plus obviously uh, the website uh, where they uh, listed these plans. So if you are interested in yourself, I should say uh, take over, uh, head over to that website, obviously after this video of course, and have a look at yourself. But be prepared, because like I said, it seriously took me days to figure out which plans to, to, to buy. They have a wonderful selection, especially of course if you love fails, like I do. Yeah, you may take your time and uh, be aware of your budget, because uh, like I said, there are, are uh, uh, pretty much uh, a lot of beauties, I should say, absolutely. Anyhow, I'm finally going to take up my scissors, you guys, and let's take these plants out. Obviously, uh, um, this is also a big plus, because these were sent to me on a Monday, and it's now a Wednesday while I'm filming this, because I did receive the package on Wednesday. So, two days in postage is not long. Not long. So, if you're from Europe, just, just head over to that website, you guys. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent. So let's see how they all uh, will look in real life. And uh, funny enough, Tobias uh, did uh, know already from uh, my, uh, my channel, my YouTube channel. So that's a good sign, of course. Thank you so much. I'm not completely sure if he su is subscribed. I think he is. I'm not sure, but anyhow, it's always know that people uh, always nice if people you know your channel. Ah, look at that! This already so promising, doesn't it? Look at that! I mean, seriously, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What a what a beautiful fell. I'm not sure if this was uh, for sale. I hope I kind of hope that I missed it because this is also a beauty. But thank you so much. Well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Tobias. I didn't uh, read the card yet, but uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, too. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look, you guys. Let's have a look. And they are using 100% recycled paper. Good. Good for you guys. Absolutely good. Here is a tag. It's uh, on a paper. How does that work? I'm not completely sure. So that's on a paper. Maybe that is did fall out of a pot. I'm not sure because I don't have a plant in that paper yet. Or uh, am I in frame? Yes, I am. I think. There we go. Well, let's have a look, you guys. Here is the first one. So yeah, I ordered uh, several of them. <coughs> I like the black paper. I have my black pots. I never had black paper. <laughs> I'm not completely sure if this is recycled, but the other one was. Probably is, but I'm not completely sure. This one has a tag. So I think there's one plant that doesn't have a tag, and that's the one that he did uh, stuck on top of the paper. Let's see. Ah, there it goes. So yeah, all of these are young plants. Look at this. Let me see. So I uh, will give you the name and I will give the picture that goes with it from his website, like we discussed earlier. This is Yepon Black Snake crossed with Gigantica Saba Red. And I will try to pronounce it as good as I can. So I will show you the picture of this cross. And this is the plant. Well, first of all, look at the beautiful shine on the leaves that's always a good sign of course this moss doesn't look that old so that's also good i don't see 
uh, growing roots yet, but we have some roots here on the side of the pots. But uh, oh yeah, look, look, wait a second. There is a root coming from the stem. Well, my finger is in the way. So yeah, I see an, a nubbin, a, a starting new root. So that's good, very good. That means that I can uh, repot it uh, pretty soon, I guess. That's the first one. Let's have a look at another one. So yes, you guys, new fails, new Digentica crosses. Beautiful. I love them. Absolutely do. I love uh, more of the uh, summer bloomers, the Muito, if I pronounce it right. There are a lot of crosses on her website as well. I love two. I absolutely do. Look at this, how this starts. New roots is the first thing we see of root tips. Beautiful. And let me grab the tag so I can put in the picture. This is the Fenoliopsis Joy Auckland Beauty AMAOS. So that is this one. Well, that does look promising. Look at the roots. We have beautiful roots here. Yeah, nice green looking plant. So, so far, so good, absolutely. So that was the second one. So yeah, it's, they may be small, so it does take some time to uh, get them to grow very big and to uh, blooming size, I think. Mm, some, some may already be in blooming size. But like I said in the other videos, the plus of the benefits, yeah, the plus side of that is if they are younger, they are easier to adapt, generally speaking, in, in the new system. I don't know why exactly, <laughs> speaking of which, look, this comes with a flower spike. So yeah, some of them are definitely in blooming, uh, blooming size, funny enough. Um, but yeah, they adapt a bit easier. I think because they are not really used to bark or moss particularly, they are fairly young, so they adapt a bit easier. Plus it has a beautiful root tip over here. But yes, yeah, speaking of which, isn't that funny? A spike, uh, and that spike is on this orchid. It's a Veneliopsis Miro Spring Girl Miro 3 times Veneliopsis Miro Sun Buddha Miro 1. So yeah, <laughs> that is this one. But yeah, like I said, I can luckily for this uh, uh, unboxing, I'm allowed to use the pictures. So uh, that is beautiful. So we have an all an ID. And this one is a little bit bigger, as you can see. Again, beautiful shine on the leaves. It looks very, very healthy. Absolutely beautiful roots. So yeah, this one is also uh, kind of ready for the repot. I will uh, let them adjust a little bit, of course. Then we have one more here. This has a tag on the outside. So let's put it here for a second. Because we don't want to mess up the names, of course. The name tags. Ah, I think I see a spike on this one as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is good. A lot of them are uh, Miri stem clones. I should mention that. So then you have the exact same uh, flowers uh, as shown on the website. So that is uh, kind of fun, of course. Well, <laughs> look at this. We will uh, soon have the ability, I think, to see uh, it in flower. It looks very, very healthy. Again, beautiful uh, leaves. And this is something other nurses do as well. They they put something on the leaves. Personally, I, that is one thing I not really like because I rather had a sticker or had it on the side of the pot. But yeah, who am I? <laughs> I don't like the look of it. That's that's it. I'm, I'm not sure if I can even take it off. But anyhow, I'm not even sure. These are coming from Taiwan, I believe. So maybe they put it on there. But that is something I personally wouldn't do. But anyhow, look at this beautiful roots. Quite a lot of them. A root tip there, another one here, another one, two over there, looking pretty, pretty good. This is, uh, let me do it in this hand because I'm right-handed, so that's more stable, told an orchid. 
This is my left hand. Here we go for the tag. This is a uh, family opposite a uh, gigantic car cross with Mitio Coral Mambonosa. There we go. So I uh, have another cross of this. The intro, the one that I already have, was also a uh, cross with a Mitio variety. Not the same one, but still. So yeah, both of them I really enjoy. Let me uh, try to put it here somewhere so it doesn't fall over. Well, let's lay it down then. <laughs> Anyhow, so we're not there yet. Let's uh, open another one. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. So yeah, funny story how I came across this website. And it seems to me that they've been longer online, but I just missed it somehow. So, uh, yeah, time to uh, let that change because so far the plants are looking very well, despite of the the label, the text on uh, on the leaves. That's that's something that will. Uh, it's not the end of the world, of course. <laughs> this is a bit smaller, but nonetheless, look at that beautiful growing tip. Not a beautiful root over there. So let's uh, have a look at the tag. This is the, I don't know if you can see it, Gigantica HRB. Family Opsis Gigantica HRB. And if I remember correctly, there are two different types of blooms. So that's, this is not a Miri stem clone, if I'm correct. So this is a bit of a surprise. Very small, so it may take <clears throat> some years, I guess. <laughs> but that's okay. I love, because these have these beautiful leaves. I just love looking at them without the flowers. They are so amazing. So yeah, let's, uh, let's grow them on. And how special if you have blooms in two, three years or four, and then it finally starts to bloom. They, those are very special. Even, even though it takes some time, if they start to bloom, you put in so much uh, time and effort to get them there. So that makes them very special, I think. So yeah, we have another, another layer of plants. A few more, you guys. <laughs> yeah, try to find uh, plants there. So I thought I'm just going to put in uh, a wish list and take it from there. And it took me uh, four days to, <laughs> to get an order that was suited uh, according to my budget. Or the budget that I have the moment oh this is spikes too look at that a new spike over here or the newest I think and there's one as well so yeah this is not that big so I think uh, the ones that we previously saw may be able to spike as well it also has a beautiful new root over there another one here root tip here and here so uh, yeah this should be ready for a repot soon as well. Let's have a look. And this is this is not a cross with the Gigantica, but I think it's fairly special as well. This is the family opsis, the Traspis All Violets. They have two varieties that are purple, and this I chose because of the shape of the blooms. I, I did like it just a little bit more, but this is a Traspis All Violets. So yeah. I like that one as well. Looks very, very good. Look at the leaves, the shine on the leaves. Beautiful. Let's put it over there. A few more to go, you guys. I hope you don't mind. I love this uh, uh, <laughs> unboxing. But there, because of the beauties, but a few to go. <laughs> don't want to take up too much of your precious time, of course. But yeah, unboxings always do well. I like to uh, look at them as well with other growers. It's always nice to see what somebody did find online or, or, or on an orchid sale somewhere. This has a lot of roots. And they are a little bit stuck, I believe. Beautiful area roots. Will you come out? Yes, there it is. Look at these. Beautiful. And look at that. <laughs> Spike one and spike two. These buds are very progress progressed. So we should have some blooms on them. I hope so. And what are roots? What are roots? Look at this. 
Look, this is what I meant earlier. <laughs> I like this a little bit better on the pot. Not complaining, don't get me wrong, Tobias. They, the plants look wonderful. But yeah, that was something I personally would like a bit more. But like I said, probably they did do that in Taiwan. Who knows, who knows. Anyhow, this is the uh, Vanilliopsis uh, Mutio uh, G uh, Jaijian. I think, yeah, Jaijian, uh, Dragon Miro. So that is this one. Well, this one looks promising, doesn't it? Beautiful roots. Absolutely. Some buds to come. Beautiful leaves. The quality so far is absolutely great, you guys. Absolutely great. So yeah, these crosses cost, cost you a little bit more, generally speaking. Not all of them. They are a little bit more expensive, but yeah, if you look at the crosses, hmm, they are not that expensive, I think. But yeah, if you uh, buy them from a supermarket or from a real seller, there's obviously a difference. And these are uh, way rarer to find, these orchids, and especially these crosses. So yeah, I don't think it's, uh, it's too expensive at all. And especially if you compare the price to America. In America, these would cost, I think, a lot more, generally speaking. But anyhow. Yeah, the black wrapping paper. <laughs> I uh, have pretty much all my f my plants and also my files in black pots. So that's funny. I never had black wrapping paper. I really like it. This one is a little bit uh, wet. Maybe it just watered. But luckily, it's not been in uh, transport for that long. So let's have a look at this one. And again, you guys, a flower spike. <laughs> So yeah, it was a little bit too early. These are probably, uh, most of them are flowering size. Um, but again, you guys, a lot of new growths. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh, new root tips, I should say, I'm sorry. And even new roots coming from there. Branches on the roots here, beautiful. This is the Tetraspis, finally up to Tetraspis, crossed with DJ Jindica. So I thought that would be, be a very interesting crush. And uh, it looks very beautiful. Very beautiful. And we're not sure, of course, or at least I am, and if these plants would take over the big leaves. Who knows? But generally speaking, if there is a pretty amount of gigantic in there, they will get bigger leaves. But it's not only for the leaves, but I really enjoy them. The big leaves fails, but another beauty. Look at this shine again on those, on those leaves. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Will you stay upright? Yes, it will. And then we are here. This has a bigger part. And, oh, look at that. Ooh, you guys, this is going to be good, for sure. Oh my God. This one has flowers, you guys. What a beauty. I'm not completely sure, but I have a feeling that Tobias may have done this uh, on purpose. This one, packing this one first, so I would open up it as a last. I'm not completely sure, but this is stunning, you guys. I'm trying to get it out of the paper. I'm not trying to w let you wait any longer, but um, there it goes. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is has a size to it. Yeah, I have a feeling, but I'm not completely sure. We didn't discuss it, but anyhow, it looks magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Look at the leaves. And then look at the flowers. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can take this off without breaking any of the flowers. There it goes. There it goes. Isn't this something? So this one uh, doesn't need a picture. I think it's fragrant, but not yet. It's just coming out of the box. 
but look at that stunning absolutely stunning and this is so i can show you the bloom with a tag this is the uh, family officer's yuan shen yuan shen girl peter funny name girl peter <laughs> but anyhow it doesn't matter it is absolutely beautiful i mean look at that isn't this beautiful and then the leaves these already have quite some size to it looking beautiful and i mean look at this what a roots absolutely beautiful so tobias well done absolutely well done yeah, this, this, uh, there is a little bit, but I think it will get stronger if it gets more light and we have a new leaf coming. Yeah, beautiful. I'm almost speechless, you guys. Almost speechless. You know what? Um, I'm going to clean up and we will have a look at all of them. Absolutely amazing, amazing. So yes, here are all of them on my up potting table. So one more time, look at those. Quite a lot of them in spike absolutely beautiful and one obviously we just saw was flowering look at those shiny leaves on that one as well so yeah so far uh, so good they look very 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 pretty very healthy plants i believe so i'm really looking forward to uh, growing on these guys and funny enough i'm still not sure <laughs> which tag this one belongs to i need to look into that but i think it has to do with someone that has the parent names on it and now has an own name something like that but i will see if i can find it out and otherwise i will uh, ask tobias why this was separate in the bag and uh, one more time this is the beautiful card and it came with so yeah i think it uh, was very b uh, boxed very well packed very well and uh, yeah they look fantastic i see no damaging uh, whatsoever on these plants so yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, video as much as i did one more time i will have the information in the video description so uh, let's have a look at their website if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section below and if you like if this uh, video a thumbs up and of course i hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos Bye bye